Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins of the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans ended Tuesday mixed, mostly modestly higher, adjusting old crop, new crop spreads. On the bull side of things, Argentina did buy 130,000 tons of U.S. soybeans on Tuesday morning, but they'll probably process it and turn around and sell it. Argentina is typically the world's biggest exporter of soybean products. And on the bear side of things, China's proposed 25% import tariff on U.S. beans continues to hang over the market. Corn closed modestly higher. Planning remains slower than average and only 5% complete as of this past Sunday, but many areas are expected to pick up steam with warmer conditions in the near-term forecasts. Wheat closed higher. There is commercial buying interest around these price levels, and there are the continued concerns about crop weather in parts of the U.S. plains on into Canada, but the overall fundamental outlook does remain bearish. Live and feeder cattle were mixed, mostly lower, failing to follow through on early gains, with box beef a little bit lackluster at midday on Tuesday. Direct cash cattle markets were quiet. Wednesday's offering at the Fed Cattle Exchange is about 31,904 head. And hogs were down. USDA's cold storage numbers yesterday were bearish, and there are a lot of demand uncertainties, both domestic and export. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.